Hey everybody, welcome to another Goody Reader video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we are going to show you how to download and install Android apps on the B-Book Touch. This is one of the few e-readers that right out of the box that does allow you to install Android apps, although the process is fairly difficult, but we're going to show you exactly what you have to do in order to get apps going. So um, you need to go to a website that allows you to download APKs uh, directly. So we recommend uh, goodyreader.com slash apps, but when you use the web browser, virtually anything that you're going to do is going to give you a certificate prompts. And um, obviously during the course of me explaining this, you're going to probably see a lot. Uh, pinching and zooming is mainly what you're going to do to... Um, it's very unresponsive too, so when you pinch and zoom, give it one or two seconds before you try to do it again, or else you're just going to end up clicking something. Yeah, yeah. so there so you go. So you can see here that we have uh, a number of apps here. We're going to install... Let's do the Sony one, yeah. Yeah, Sony for Android. So it's as simple as clicking on it and on the sidebar, and what it's going to do is send you to a dedicated page for the Sony download link in a second here. The web browsing experience not only is very slow, it is also very heavily reliant on the battery. It really drains it quite a bit. So we've, uh, we were just downloading a couple apps and we lost almost 15% within minutes. So do a pinch and zoom, move over to the download link. More than likely, we're getting security. We get this on any website. We tried uh, various other websites and you always get certificate errors on pretty much any site before you can even click on anything so uh, yeah it's just not our website but we tested it on a ton of others even things. on Google searches the certificate uh, errors just pop up so you can see we've started the download just click continue and as you can see on the top we're getting the uh, we're getting the little bar and it's going to uh, show up there in a second scroll that back up And you can see there that without even doing anything, it took us completely out of the web browser. So it's downloading the file right now. Now, here's a small thing. It says download unsuccessful. Now, if we click on that, we can actually see all the apps that we have uh, downloaded uh, up until this point. Now, this menu is not accessible through any other pr uh, function on this device. You can only do this when you have a download either completed or failed up top. Otherwise, you can't get to this menu. Right, and this is basically showing all of the different uh, apps that you have on your e-reader. Now, when you install apps, there's no icons created, uh, there's no uh, file directory management on the B-Book Touch, so anytime you want to use an app you have to do a fresh install and that's sort of the way that it is so if you say look at the Kobo app that we already have downloaded here and click on that the application you are installing will replace another because we already have this installed however because there's no way to access any of the installed apps you have to reinstall any app you wish to access which is kind of a pain and a fairly large flaw yeah, so this is obviously a bit larger of an application because it's a 16 meg, so it, it'll take, you know, a few minutes to fully install. But once it's installed, you can begin using the application. And in some cases, you can even download uh, applications from established app markets. So you can install our own Goody Reader App Store and then install apps directly through there. So, so we're going to open it. Now, make sure you click Open. If you click Done, you'll be taken back to the home screen, and you have to reinstall it. So, so it's very important to open the app. You could get, this is Kobo for Android, the latest one. So you could read graphic novels, cookbooks, uh, e-books, anything that you really want. Uh, it's fully functional. As you can see, you could sign in. You can engage in writing life. Or, you know, for indie books, you could do a lot of things. So this is mainly how it is here. So I would probably recommend to keep that download 
unsuccessful thing in here. Right. Don't click the clear icon. If you do, that'll go away and you'll have to re-download any app in order to get this accessible menu back. Right. So we'll just show you our own Goodie Weeder app store here really quickly. Once again, we have to reinstall it even though it is already installed. Yeah, hopefully Beepbook does address this in a future firmware update. At least if they were to put in like a, a file explorer by default, this would right. really open up a lot of avenues. Absolutely. And we were thinking actually um, to put, we were going to go to our app store and download ES File Explorer. But then we realized how would we access the file explorer to access the files and there is no way you'd have to do it this way. Yeah, you would literally have to install ES File Explorer all the time. Right. And you can see here there seems to be yet another delay and mess up with the uh, internet. The internet's very squiffy on this device. Yeah. So, so it doesn't look like anything's showing up. Although you do have our app store loaded on the device. so. Um, because you're installing, reinstalling, and uninstalling things over and over again, you do get a lot of lost data. Yeah, it's totally. not a very proper way to download apps. You know, I, I I do like the fact that you know you can install Kindle and you can do all this stuff. But in order for this functionality to be widely adopted and used by everybody, BeeBook does have to issue new firmware with a file exploring manager. They just have if, if, to. They, if they don't do that, um, then there's you're gonna have to do fresh installs of apps and do this workaround that we're showing you every time you want to do it. Whereas if they do bundle a file explorer. Uh, package or um, you know update then you could just na navigate it and launch these Android applications directly within the file explorer right and you can see here we're on Amazon and we're still getting countless amounts of certificate errors and there's no way to disable that yeah so and now the page is not loading so it's uh, they need to address quite a few things in order for the um, Android apps to be usable on this device. Yeah, they need to fix the certificate errors in the web browser and they need to package uh, a file exploring app. But this is really how you would install apps. Right. So with this video, is, the sole premise is to show you this sort of stuff. So hopefully it's been, um, you know, riveting <laughs> for you to watch, um, you know, Give us your thoughts if you have an easier way to do it or if, you know, you see that we've missed something here. Kindly let us know. YouTube.com slash Goody Readers, our channel name. And for all the latest news, previews, interviews, and everything else, check out our website at GoodyReader.com. And uh, for Goody Reader and an overview of how to install Android apps on the Book Touch, my name is Michael. And this is Peter. Everybody take care.